What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to put Frogger into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We have lots to get through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. Now all Frogger mostly does is hop, so his moveset was a big challenge. I had to search through all the games to find some cool stuff. Luckily, it seems that I succeeded. His standard special would be spitting goobers. Yeah, yeah, it comes from possibly the worst Frogger game ever made, but come on, it's funny. They wouldn't do much damage, but Frogger is a good spitter, so they'd hit your opponents pretty fast. His side special can be his tongue. His super long tongue can be used for multiple things, grabbing opponents or even items. It wouldn't exactly damage your enemies, but it would be great for a combo. Imagine sucking them in with your tongue and then launching them with a smash attack. His up special would be the super jump from his games on the PlayStation. One. And if the jump isn't far enough for you to make it back on stage, if you hold the button, he'll glide just like in Frogger 2. Frogger could also have another method of gliding just by holding the button during a normal jump. He'd puff out his chin and glide that way like in Frogger's Great Quest, the first character with two different glides. His down special could be the croak ability. In the Frogger games, he would use this ability to send a shockwave that could locate his baby frogs. However, in Smash, the shockwave could be used to stun your opponents. The higher their damage or the farther away they get hit from would increase the time that they're stunned. Now, Frogger's design is very simple, so there's not much you could do with him in terms of alternate costumes. However, he does have the advantage of being a frog, meaning that it's not too weird if you change the color of his skin. So instead of changing clothes, Frogger's skin would change colors. Some colors could even reference his friends, like Tad being the light blue Frogger, or Lily Frog being the pink Frogger. But overall, nothing too big to see here, so moving on. And of course, his final smash is too obvious. Whether it be cinematic or send cars just driving out after your foes, Frogger traveling through traffic must be his final smash. Yeah, yeah, I know we already have Captain Falcon's final smash, but he hits people with a car. Frogger would crush people with a car. Now, stages were the easiest part. All you probably think the only thing Frogger does is cross the street. And if that's true, then you haven't played the PlayStation 1 games. Seriously, go play them. They're super underrated. Anyways, first up we have Lava Crush. This would be a very fun stage because of all the different switches that could activate different moving platforms. There could also be trapdoors that open up to a deadly pit of lava. There could even be some molten lava boulders that shoot up at you. And speaking of boulders, the second stage could be Boulder Canyon from Frogger 2. This would be a very mysterious temple with crumbling platforms, spikes that jut out of the floors and wall, and of course, a giant boulder that would occasionally chase you. Now for assist trophies. Aside from the traffic, there's one more iconic enemy in Frogger that you have to watch out for, the Crocodile. So why not have Frogger's first assist trophy be the big baddie out of all of them, Swampy the Crocodile. He'd sneak up on your enemies and chomp at them with his powerful jaws. He's not the fastest guy, so it would take a while to get to your enemies, but when he does, he'll bite hard. And the second assist trophy is kind of an inside joke for myself. Does anyone else have that? Like, where it's not even an inside joke for a group of friends, it's literally just a joke for you? Well, it would have to be the lawnmowers from the Frogger games on the PlayStation 1. I don't know what it is about lawnmowers, but the developers of these PlayStation 1 games apparently wanted to make them the most deadly thing ever. These lawnmowers travel so fast and in such a spastic pattern, it's crazy, and I used to always think it was funny. So it would be a total riot for me for this to be included in the game. Seriously, go play the PlayStation 1 Frogger games, you're missing out. Now for Frogger's items, and we have surprisingly good representation from the worst Frogger game. First up is the Fire Stone. In Frogger's Great Quest, throwing this item would leave a powerful flame that would linger on the ground, damaging any foes that touched it. And it would be no different in Super Smash Bros. I don't think we've ever had any fire or explosive items that have worked this way before, so it's super unique. Next we have Bugs and Flies. In Frogger's Great Quest, these would restore your health, and in the PlayStation 1 Frogger games, they would increase certain stats. They would do the same in Smash Bros, but you would also be able to stack stats on top of each other, so eating a speed bug wouldn't replace your strength stats after you ate a strength bug. Sheesh, I gotta get more creative. I'm running out of different ways to do stat boosters. Next up is a checkpoint. This is a standard for pretty much almost every game, actually, not just Frogger. I'm surprised they haven't done it already. Throwing this item would allow you to respawn wherever it lands, instead of the standard above the stage on a platform. Pretty simple, actually. Pretty cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. I'll finish off this video by showing the 8 pieces of music I think would fit Frogger and Super Smash Bros. the best. And be sure to stay tuned for that because afterwards I'll show you who's next. Also because the Frogger soundtrack is really good, you need to listen. Let's go!